So, the topic of today's video is quite literally an episode of South Park come to life. And I'm not just saying that to be funny or to over-exaggerate the situation, I literally mean that. Because in the most recent South Park special that's currently airing on Paramount Plus, there's a drink called Cred that's obviously copying Prime. And there's a super special edition of it being released. And when kids hear about it in this episode, there's at least 30,000 of them waiting to get inside to buy this super special edition of Cred. And when the doors open, it just turns into complete mayhem. Okay, okay, it's here, you bastards. Come in and uh, I was here first! We're not gonna make it again! Where is it? Where's the crab? It's over there! Give me crab! Me first! Me first! And before you say, oh Haley, that couldn't possibly be happening in real life. I regret to inform you that it is. But instead of it being children, it's full grown adults fighting over the new edition of a Stanley Cup. And because of the absolute insanity that the release of this cup caused on January 3rd, Starbucks pulled it from shelves. And they will never sell it again because of the way people were acting over it. So firstly, there was a video that went viral on TikTok of somebody recording at these group of adult women bolting into the store as soon as Target opens their doors and hoarding together like a pack of zombies from The Walking Dead just so that they can be the first ones to get the cup. Do you guys want to know the only other thing I've ever seen a group of people run for? When I've gone to a concert and I've bought tickets for general admission for one of my favourite bands like the Foo Fighters or Red Hot Chili Peppers. And because general admission is basically first come first serve, you want to run as fast as you possibly can to the front of the stage to get the best view. That's normal. Um, not for something that you drink liquid out of. But somehow, this clip is even more disturbing because not only again does it look like a pack of running zombies from The Walking Dead, but people are falling over. People are getting pushed. All just so that they can crowd around this one poor measly shelf and buy a damn cup! And I think the funniest part about that is that these cups, these limited edition cups that everyone is losing their minds over, you'd think they'd have some sort of special pattern or special design that would make them stand out from everything else on the market, but no, you would be wrong because the Stanley Cups are literally just two solid colours. One pink, one red. That's it. There's not even a special design. There's no special engraving. It's just colours. But just look at the way they act when they get to these cups after bolting into the store. I cannot believe that Target had to put up a sign for these Stanley Cups that says two per customer because they knew that people were gonna lose their minds over this Stanley Cup. And not only did people not listen because somebody literally was grabbing three cups, but at the end of that video, the person said that these cups sold out in less than four minutes. The only word that comes to mind when I watch that video is animalistic. And in this video, again, of people running up to this poor shelf to grab these cups, even though there's a limit of two per person, which I don't even know why you'd need two, there's people grabbing four at a time. Hell, there was someone who was literally grabbing six. Guys, these are reusable cups. The point of a reusable water bottle is to have a very few of them. Maybe one or two because they are reusable. So you don't need a bunch of water bottles because you can reuse them. But not only were people running into the store as soon as Target opened their doors, not only were people genuinely fighting and pushing each other over these cups when they got to the shelf, but there were lines of people waiting outside. It is the holidays. And these people could have been relaxing at home. 
these people could have been spending time with their families. But instead of spending their time in a meaningful way over their break, they choose to line up at Target at four o'clock in the morning for a cup. And not only were people lining up at four o'clock in the morning, but they were freezing their asses off because it's the middle of winter in the US right now. So they woke up before the crack of dawn and are subjecting themselves to freezing cold temperatures. How is this normal behavior? Give it a Home Depot bucket. <laughs> she didn't know that you were coming? Probably like those fools outside waiting. Wait, I'm not liking this. But it doesn't look like that many. 30 to 40, like they said. How are you getting a thrill out of watching retail employees do what they're just supposed to be doing? All the way back. What? Yeah. <laughs> but you can't even hear them, <laughs> Mom, you got two? Yeah. If you're getting one. Okay. Don't mean to get any. I just want a video. This is funny. Oh, God. They did it? They did it. of those cups being sold out in four minutes was literally beaten by these group of people because they were sold out in 20 seconds. I don't even know how that's possible. And in this video, a father takes his daughter to the Target because she wants this new Stanley Cup. And I'm not gonna say anything about that because a child just wants what's trendy. A child just wants what's popular. This is to be expected. But what I think is actually bizarre is the fact that they go there earlier than four o'clock. They are at this target at 1.40 in the morning. 1.40 a.m. We spent the night at Target for the new Stanley Starbucks cup. Yes, I know what you're thinking, it's a cup. Why, what are you doing? On the other hand, I love my daughter and we were bored. So we got there like at 1.40 in the morning and it was a ghost town because it was Target. So we hopped out of the car, brought the chairs and made sure we were first in line. So it was almost three o'clock in the morning and that's when people started to show up. I mean, these people are dedicated. We just watched one by one and the line was massive and it was cold. Now, listen, I can appreciate and love the fact that this father is just wanting to do whatever it takes to make his daughter happy. But I can also understand how cultish it is to wait outside a Target parking lot when it is freezing cold and you've been there for hours on end with no sleep and you're getting food delivered to you outside just so that you don't lose your place in line. And I ordered Whataburger delivered in line, so if you know, you know, how you done? At this point, the store's about to open and look at this line. Guys, are, are we okay? No. The answer is no. This lady came out to make sure we didn't burn the place down and once the doors were open, it was go time. And again, the amount of people outside lining up for this is crazy. And the fact that an actual employee of the store has to come out and give rules and regulations and tell people how to behave when they get in the store is again, even crazier. But it doesn't end there because there were also legitimate fights breaking out at these targets over these Stanley Cups. Because there was, yet again, a fully a grown adult person who participated in this madness by trying to steal an entire box of these cups. Now, do I care that the cups are being stolen? No, I don't, because they're useless and they won't be in trend anymore in probably two months. They're worthless items. But what I do care about is the fact that the guy recording this person stealing these bottles is saying, a loser. Do you have any self-awareness? Loser. Get up, get up. Because you both woke up at 
the same hour in the morning to go to this target. You both waited in line in the freezing cold for hours on end for this cup. And yet, you're going to call this man a loser for doing something more efficiently than you are. Yes, that man is still a loser because he lined up for this cup in the early hours of the morning in the freezing cold. But how does that make him the loser? You both did the same thing. Like fork meat spoon. Bread meat butter. Water meat ice. You guys are two peas in a pod and you're calling him the loser. My god. Are you... But it doesn't just end there because somebody was doing a live stream at the exact same location at the exact same time and people were chasing this man down. People were hauling around this man. People were pushing him to the ground. They did, look at them. They're trying to steal. You guys, this is insane. Look at this dupe, stupid. Get him, get him. Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. Yes, yeah, stop him. I didn't touch him, I didn't touch him. Stop him, stop her, stop her. Somebody, she tried to grab my bag, you guys. Look at, this is insane. Look at this. He is insane. Look at this. Yeah. Good. No, 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 it's okay. We're gonna call law enforcement, they'll take care of it. Wow, you guys. Look at that. Was that not insane? Do you see why I say that this situation is just an episode of South Park come to life? Because the kids in the South Park special were fighting each other and stealing these cups. And in real life, these people are also fighting each other and stealing these cups. Thankfully, there are still some sane individuals left on this planet because everyone was like, all of this for a cup? Really? <laughs> but after getting their hands on this ridiculous cup, there were people who, for a lack of a better term, not mentally well. Because tell me why there are grown adults out there who are preserving the label of this cup. Why are you tearing this off so carefully? Why are you preserving it by laminating the damn label? Why are you sticking it back onto the cup when its purpose is to be removed and thrown away? It's crazy, not just because it's a cardboard label for a cup, but because it doesn't add anything. In fact, it takes away from the cup. It makes it look ugly. It's distracting. But the main reason why I hate Stanley Cup so goddamn much is because it's just overconsumption. Because not only are there people out there who are genuinely buying a color of a Stanley Cup just so that it will match the color of their outfit and hoarding hundreds of them in their goddamn house, but there are people who are quite literally buying the most useless accessories known to man for this cup! Amazon Stanley must-haves. First up is this silicone boot that serves as a cushion cover for the bottom. It comes in two sizes for the 30 ounce or 40 ounce with a custom fit that helps prevent dents and scratches. Please tell me why you need a protective cushion for a cup. Please. Uh, does anybody have an answer? Dents and scratches. And I love these cute covers to help keep my straw clean. What is the point of these straw protectors? Why do you need a straw protector? It helps keep it clean. If you wash it regularly, it's also clean. Did, did we think about that? Next up is a snack tray that's designed to sit around the top of your tumbler so you have quick access to your drink and your snacks at the same time. It also comes with a protective boot for the bottom and holds a good amount of snacks. Plus, it includes other accessories like this straw topper. Just get a bowl. Like, get a bowl. <laughs> and why does it need protection for a snack booth? Why? What, what, what does that do? You know what you could do? You could have your Stanley Cup, and instead of spending money on this useless item, you could just use the bowls that you already have in your house. Because then you just wouldn't be buying more useless products. You wouldn't just be wasting more money. 
I love using this while watching TV or while I'm in the car. This carrier is another favorite, especially if you like to bring your Stanley on the go. It secures around the cup with Velcro for a nice snug fit and is cushioned with a soft material, providing a protective barrier and an optional adjustable shoulder strap so your tumbler feels comfortable while you're holding it. Why does a cup need its very own bag? Why do you feel the need to carry it around like a purse? And again, this just brings me back to this being an in real life South Park episode. Because with the cred, these kids were getting special backpacks so that they could show off the cred on each side of the backpack. They wanted to show off their cred. And people want to show off their Stanleys by getting special bags so everyone can see that they have a Stanley cup. Because the Stanley cup already has a handle! There's also this pouch that's designed to strap onto Stanley's so you can keep a few of your important belongings like a cell phone, key fob, and card holder all together. The strap can adjust to fit any size tumbler and makes it so convenient if you're taking your drink into a workout class. My damn cup is not a kangaroo! It should not have a pouch to be holding my stacks! It does not need a pouch to attach to it so it can hold my phone and my keys! It's not a bag! It's not a p- Oh my god, like I'm actually genuinely getting really mad and heated over this. You know what you could do? Put your phone and your keys in a bag with your Stanley Cup. Like normal people would. And lastly, this initial charm comes in a two pack and can set your Stanley apart so you know whose is whose. These are all super affordable and on my Amazon and my LTK. A charm for your cup. So you can tell it apart. So you can see who's whose. A, a, a charm for your cup. I, I want you guys to really sit with that. People are out there legitimately buying a heart with an initial just so that they can put it on their cup. Just to make it look pretty, just to decorate it. This is just overconsumption at its absolute peak. But because people were going insane over these cups and because Starbucks is not bringing them back, now they're collector's items and people are charging prices through the roof for them. The Facebook marketplace is supposed to be a cheap alternative and yet people are using it to their advantage by selling this cup for 200 bucks. There are people on eBay who are selling it for 250 even upwards of almost $300 because they know they can because it's not coming back. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah! I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.